Hi, Royal Loyals. What it do, Crowned Crew? It's your girl, Shaquita, and you already know you're watching Crown Me, Quita. Yes, I'm still in the bed right now, so you get fresh out of bed, Quita, for this one, okay? But the truth is, I woke up this morning and there was something heavy on my heart that I felt like I needed to record immediately. And I couldn't wait until I got cute. And I couldn't wait until I even got out of the bed because normally in the mornings, I lift my bed and I lay here and I spend time with Jesus. I just start my day like in silence, just thinking, leaving room for him to speak so that I can hear him and this morning for my son who will be watching this right about now he has no idea I'm recording this but for my son you are who your bloodline was waiting for generational curses end with you and I want to say that to anybody else who feels like The road has been so rough and their walk with Christ has been so difficult. Let me tell you, that's because generational curses end with you and your bloodline was waiting for you and the enemy is not happy. And so he is trying to bring up all of this adversity in your life because he's shaking in his boots. But I'm here to tell you, be fearless because he who began a good work in you he who began a good work in you is faithful to finish it. The gates of hell will not prevail in the mighty name of Jesus. And every demonic attack being formed against you right now, it shall not prosper. I send it back to the pits of hell from which it came in the mighty name of Jesus. So yes, I'm a real fun person. I love to, I'm a child at heart. I like to play around and dance, but my faith game, my worship game, and my slay the devil with this tongue game is strong. See, when you give your life to the Lord, he gives you the power through the Holy Spirit to move mountains with this. He gives you the power to tear down strongholds with this. But you got to tap into that. And until you do, I'm going to speak it for you in the mighty name of Jesus. So here's a quick little piece of my testimony. When my children were babies, when my son was born, of course, I was a teen parent. So to those of you who don't know that, I was a teen parent. And I didn't know much about raising my kids. I didn't know how I would. But I knew I wanted to raise them to know and fear the Lord. I had this burning desire to raise them to know and fear the Lord. Now, I was no stranger to church, um, but I didn't really have a relationship with Christ when my children were born. I was a church goer. Now, for some reason, it was so very important to me to have my children Christianed. And if you don't know what that means, that just simply means to dedicate their lives back to the Lord. It's like a baptism, a baby baptism, really, um, without their consent or knowledge because they're babies you know what I'm saying so I had a burning desire as a teenager to dedicate my children's lives back to the Lord I didn't really know what it meant I just knew it was something I had to do fast forward to now as an adult I have a, re a strong relationship with the Lord I know who I am in Christ and I understand now that that burning desire to Christian my children came from the Lord because he had a plan for their lives before he put them in my womb and me dedicating them back to him was a pivotal moment in their lives even though they were babies me dedicating them back to him said Lord I give them back to you to protect because he knew that as they grew the enemy was going to try everything in their power in his power to take them out because he didn't want them to reach the calling 
which is so huge that God has on each one of their lives. And I can tell you from day one, the enemy has been trying, but guess what? He's He might be vicious, but he's not victorious. Not today, Satan. Not these two. They belong to Jesus, to God. I feel so, well, I feel so bad. I was going to say I feel so bad that I couldn't, you know, do more with myself for this video. But sometimes when God says speak, you speak. No matter what you're looking like right now, you be obedient and you speak right then. And so this video comes from a place of obedience and wanting to speak and release what the Lord put on my heart. Before the enemy tried to take it away, before the enemy tried to make me forget, before my day got so busy that I forgot to record. So I almost brought you a bonnet chronicle, but at least I took it off <laughs> and freshened my hair up a little bit. Because um, at the end of the day, I don't really care who likes my appearance in this video. I aim to please the Lord. And for whoever this video was for, I pray that it pierced your heart. I pray that you feel the presence of God right now. I pray that you're overwhelmed by his love in this very moment. And I pray that whatever sign you were looking for from him, that this is it. God loves you and he did not forget about you. And everything you are walking through right now, please believe Nothing happens without passing through God's hands. Everything you're walking through right now is to make you, not break you. God is using this to mold you. It's going to create something in your character that he needs you to have in order to walk out that calling. That's the simplest way I can put it. Does your Nabria? You are breaking generational curses. You are who your bloodline was waiting for. God's got you. To my viewers watching this, because I know that God made sure that the person who needed to see this, he made sure that this video came across your feed or your, um, the person who needs to see this is watching it right now. So to you, you are breaking generational curses. You are who your bloodline was waiting for. God's got you. You see, yesterday I was praying. I was talking to the Lord around this same time. And I was asking him, Lord, to please just give me blessed perspective. I'm always asking him this, but I was asking him again yesterday. Please give me blessed perspective, Lord. Please pull back the curtain and show me how the enemy is trying to attack my children, my son in particular, because he's he's having a he's walking through a he's in a valley right now. And if you know God is a God of hills and he's a God of valleys and he'll be with you in the hill on top of the hill and he'll also be with you in the valley. So back to what I was saying, I was just praying for God to show me, you know, like how pull back the curtain on Satan. Show me how he's trying to attack my son so I can know how to be praying. Let me tell you all how faithful God is. Before the end of the night, I got a text message from a friend. You know who you are. She texted me. And she said, I want you to know that I'm praying for Dejour. I want you to know I'm praying for your son. God put it heavy on my heart to pray against the generational curses that is trying to attack and keep him from his destiny. And I, in that moment, I was fighting back tears because God is so faithful. There he had answered me. Not only did he show me how to how to be praying, but he put my son on the heart of a prayer warrior with, without my knowledge for her to be praying for him. But I hadn't even reached out to her and God put it on her heart to be praying. That's how faithful he is. I just, I told you that. To paint just a small picture of how faithful God is. because His faithfulness is, is, and you can't measure it. You can't fathom it. You can't understand it. Like, that's how faithful he is. 
So I dare you to open your mouth and speak to him. I dare you to ask. The Bible says, seek and you shall find, knock and the door shall be open. Talk to the Lord vulnerably in your vulnerability honestly don't say to him what you think he wants to hear P talking to the lord that's prayer dialogue just speaking to him like i'm speaking to you now be real be vulnerable bring your emotions to the table because let me tell you something he already know what you feeling how you feeling and when you started feeling it and he's waiting for you to come to him with it because he's a gentleman god is a gentleman and he will Wait until you let him in. He's not going to knock down the doors of your heart, but he's right there gently knocking, waiting for you to let him in. So I dare you to have a conversation with him. Just talk to him. Be real. Tell him how you feel. Lay it all out on the table. I promise you, he will be listening. And he will answer that prayer. In his perfect timing, I read a book by Lisa... Turkist, forgive me if I'm pronouncing that wrong, and it's titled, It's Not Supposed to Be This Way. And in that book, she says that God answers your prayers at no other time than the right time. And so you pray, and you might not feel like he's listening or he hears you right now, but I can guarantee you that he is going to answer that prayer right now on time in the perfect moment as parents we we hate to see our children struggle with anything it's hard because i'm gonna tell you like i have in the past you know i want to fix things for my children i want to carry their weight but that's something that god had to deal with me on because sometimes as parents he needs us to be still and know that he is god and Yesterday was one of those moments where I had to step back. Yesterday was one of those days where I had to step back and let God be God. And just pray and take everything to him in prayer. God never said that every day of your life would be easy. Because if it were, we, would, we wouldn't need Jesus. But he did say, in this world, you will have trouble. But be brave, for I have overcome the world. So be encouraged. Thank you to that friend. You know who you are. Thank you so much for your obedience. I cannot explain to you what that text message did for me last night. Lord, I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I'm grateful for you. Gratitude should never be silent, Lord. I'm so grateful. Whew, and may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Lord, turn your face toward her and give her peace in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So before I end this video, I just want to say a quick prayer. Let's bow our heads. So, Father God, in the name of Jesus, I just thank you for who you are, Lord. I thank you for a heart to obey and I thank you for boldness and doing the things that you put on my heart, Lord, because somebody out there needed those words this morning. And I pray for everybody watching this video, each person under, this, under the sound of my voice right now, Lord, that you would meet them right where they are, Lord, that you would give them the strength to keep fighting, Lord, that you would give them blessed perspective to see the ways in which the enemy is trying to attack Lord pull back the curtain on him his time is up Father God I pray your protection first and foremost over each person under the sound of my voice Lord and I just pray that you reveal yourself to them in a new way in a miraculous way like only you can and that you go before them, you make the wrong things right. Because Holy Spirit, when you move, something has to break God. So, Lord, I just, I don't even know what to ask right now. But I thank you that when I don't know what to ask, the Holy Spirit gives me the words, God. 
So in the name of Jesus, cover the person. Under the sound of my voice, Lord, I plead the blood of Jesus over them right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And every weapon formed against them right now, I demand it to drop in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord. <sighs> your will, your way, Lord. I just ask that you have your way in their lives, Father God. And that's all I can ask for. It's in your mighty, matchless, and powerful name that I pray. Amen. Thank you so much for tuning in to this video. It was an urgent message. And I pray that you heard the voice of God. I pray that he spoke to you. I pray that he met you right where you are. Remember to adjust your crowns because royalty looks good on you. And I'll see you in the next video. Happy YouTubing. Bye.